Multimedia J Radio Style. What's up, everybody? Multimedia J in the house, on the mic, just hopping on here real quick to say a few quick words in regard to the untimely demise of Stickam. Stickam abruptly uh, closed up shop not too long ago. They got a big farewell message up on their website, and uh, they're going offline completely on February 28th, 2013. And uh, what people can do is... Anybody who's used Stickham can log in, and if they have stuff that they recorded there that they want to download and stuff like that, they can download it until the site goes down and stuff like that. But I just wanted to say that this whole Stickham suddenly closing up shop thing does not surprise me one bit. I am not in the least bit surprised by any of this, because Stickham has is, is been going downhill for quite some time. This sudden uh, site closure, so to speak, shouldn't be shouldn't uh, surprise anybody. If it surprises you, then you haven't been paying attention to what's been going on. What I observed with Stickham, now I Stickham and I, we go way back, almost as long as YouTube. Actually, I first got involved with Stickham back in the mid two thousands, shortly after I started be, uh, really messing around on YouTube, making some videos and uh, subscribing to people and watching their videos and stuff like that. Not long after I got started on YouTube, I found out about Stickham because of Venetian Princess's fan uh, Stickham chat that she used to have back then. This is was back in the early days before she became this big internet superstar and actually was not completely out of the reach of her fans living a big celebrity life and all that other stuff but um those were that was then and this is now i suppose but she used to have these fan chats and uh myself and some other av geeks who liked the uh AV Geek style green screen video blog things she was doing at the time before she started all this celebrity parody stuff that she does nowadays. We, uh, we used to just talk about it on Stickham and other things like that. And she would talk about what was going on in her life and how she was handling all of her newfound internet fame and things like that. And, uh, that's basically where I got my first introduction to Stickham. Since then, there's been some other stuff going on on YouTube that has led me back to that site here and there. I used to be subscribed to a channel on here called Friday Night Cranks, which would stream their prank call show on Stickam on Friday nights. And then they would uh, upload the recording of the stream or the recording that they put on Stickam to YouTube a couple days later. I think they I think they probably still do. Uh, they're probably using a different stream site now if they're still doing live shows. But uh, I haven't watched that show in a long time because the whole prank call haha humor kind of got old really quick for me so i haven't really gone back and then of course as some of my subscribers will be uh will go nuts if i don't point out zara and Izarak would have friday night stick am chats as well although i really never fit in all that well with his friday night stick am chats i mean a lot of folks see myself and Zara and Izarak and they see that we're into Blu-ray to some extent and they think that we're some anywhere close to uh similar people and we're not we're actually very very different and there are a couple of differences that the two of us have that we'd come to blows over if we ever got into a big YouTube drama war over or something like that for example whether Blu-rays ever going to take over the world as far as uh as far as a being the dominant video format i say i say no to that so i don't know if he's still saying yes or not with uh how blu-ray has been and how it's pretty much become this generation's laser disc but i used to take i used to uh be at least a lurker in his friday night chats a lot sometimes i'd sign in and things like that but it was unfortunately in his chats over the last couple of weeks and months that i have noticed stick am's gradual decline Here's what I, now, there isn't, there hasn't been an official reason posted as to why Stickam has abruptly shut down, but if I can, if I can take a guess here, I'd like to hypothesize, so to speak, that what happened to Stickam was something similar to what happened to livevideo.com. 
Now, if anyone remembers LiveVideo.com, it was the first viable alternative to YouTube several years ago. Live Video first gained fame among disgruntled YouTubers because that site would let people do things that YouTube wouldn't. There was no there was no upload length. Li- there was no upload time limit. There was stereo sound and things like that. And for a while, there were uh, it was actually better to upload to live video than to upload to YouTube. YouTube slowly but surely, though, def- pretty much defeated the purpose of uploading to live video. And uh, Rever kind of went the same way, too. I mean, Rever's claim to fame was monetization. You could make money off of your videos. And uh, deep within the terms of service, if anyone remembers, there's a little something where Rever actually reserved the right to delete videos that weren't making enough money. But that's another discussion for another day if we ever want to have that discussion again. But uh, let me just check to make sure it's not it hasn't been zombied here. R E V V R dot com. Back to the mic. And I'm not getting any response whatsoever. Oh, well. But yes, uh, what happened to live video, as was the case with Rever, was YouTube slowly but surely defeated the purpose of going to either of those sites. It was easier with Rever, and Rever bit the dust. And now, of course, we have live video, which is kind of a zombie site at this point. The uh, I, I guess the, the company that bought the rights to the live network series of websites has had some financial problems, so the site's been up and down. It was down completely for the longest time. Now, it's sort of like MySpace. It's pretty much a broken mess, and who knows if it'll ever be functional again. Uh, there may be plans to make it work some da- again sometime someday, but basically the way it works as of this recording, if you go to livevideo.com, you can poke around the site and sign in and stuff, but you can't watch any videos. Uh, the, uh, the advertising thing that runs the ads just freezes up whenever you go to watch anything, and it's just broken and doesn't work. So basically the site's as good as dead. <laughs> so, and uh, But here's what happened with live video. YouTube slowly but surely defeated the purpose of going to that, uh, the point of going to that site. YouTube added widescreen support. Live video didn't. YouTube added stereo sound, brought them up to par with live video. Live video still didn't have widescreen support. YouTube added support for 720p. Live video still didn't even do widescreen. YouTube added 1080p. Still no widescreen on livevideo.com. Finally, YouTube removed the length limits on uploads, and you still couldn't do widescreen on livevideo.com. Folks, When a website can't keep up with its competition in terms of very basic features that you'd expect to see anywhere else, expect that site to be in trouble soon, if not right now, and just get away from it. Stickam was very, very, was very similar. I noticed in the final days of Stickam that just about any Stickam chat room that I went to was a complete mess. It was absolutely unwatchable. Because of something that I think is very basic and very nameable, very uh, nameable. Here is something that is very basic to these flash based video sites that I never once saw on Stickam bandwidth controls, the ability to control the quality of your streams. I went looking all over the place and I couldn't find it. Here's how, here's how Stickam would work you'd sign into a chat room with everybody talking at once, and either your browser or your broadband would have trouble handling all the streams at once because everybody would have like high def webcams or something like that, and you had no way whatsoever to throttle down the quality. So if your brow, so say your flash plugin in your browser couldn't handle all that video at once or something like that, yeah, you'd have problems. And that's pretty much what happened the last couple of times I tried going to Zero and Izerac's Friday night chats, is that I'd basically get a giant stutter fest until I turned off the um until I uh turned off the video part of the feed and just listened to the audio, in which case, hey, Zero and Izerac, Friday night radio. <laughs> so yeah. When something that basic couldn't be implemented into Stickham, that's when I figured the site was probably in trouble and would have probably closed down quite quickly. And here we are. Thank you and farewell they have on their site. And they'll be going completely dark within a month or so. And uh, yeah, 
It's pretty sad. I don't know if uh, there really is another site that really does what Stickam did with getting a bunch of people on camera and stuff like that. I think Google Plus Hangouts might work that way, except that requires using your real name. So I don't know if people who are concerned about their privacy might ever uh, might ever use something like that. I don't know if Ustream could do something like that. And I'm seeing this other site called Instameet advertising every time someone talks about, oh, I'm going to miss Stickham. So I don't know if maybe someone else is already trying to make a replacement for Stickham or something like that. But <sighs> let's not forget, folks, at the core of this Internet video thing, whatever you want to call it, phenomenon, revolution, I don't know, are businesses trying to make money. And let us not forget, as much as people complain about YouTube these days, YouTube used to be in a similar position where nobody knew just how YouTube was going to stay afloat. If you read news articles about YouTube several years ago, back when YouTube first started taking off, people had no idea just how YouTube was ever going to get out of the red, get into the black, and actually start making money. It's it's a business, folks, and sometimes businesses just go out of business. I don't know if Stickham ran out of money here, or there was some other troubles or things like that, but, you know, don't complain about think YouTube, like YouTube getting more commercial. Be like, oh, I would use ad blockers and block all the ads. I hate YouTube. It's too commercial. How do you think you pay for all that bandwidth? Let's not forget, folks. In the days before YouTube, hosting video on the internet was a very expensive endeavor. I saw a few websites that hosted like viral videos even, where you just downloaded the videos instead of watching them through a flash player. I remember seeing those kinds of sites just cr just crumble and go out of business because they couldn't afford the bandwidth costs, and they had no real way to generate revenue. Let's not forget, folks, the lack of the ability to generate decent revenue over the Internet was one of the driving factors in the dot-com crash. All these online businesses are like, let's make money off the Internet, and then suddenly they found out they couldn't make enough money off the Internet to make the business work, and stuff started crashing all over the place. Uh, businesses went belly up one after another, and uh, the dot-com crash. Oh, dear. So, something to think about. I'm not surprised that Stickham has gone under. I'm not going to mourn its loss too much, because it was a total joke in the days before it uh, went under. But nowadays, we've got other stuff like Ustream and Twitch TV and other places like that that we can go to for streams of stuff, but... I'm thinking Ustream. Ustream's looking pretty good these days. Uh, I remember a couple of years ago when Ustream was this broken mess that looked like a, some weird cross between MySpace and YouTube. But I've gone over there recently for some stuff, and they've really cleaned that site up. So props to those folks for making Ustream look all nice and shiny. But it'll be interesting to see which video streaming site tries to take Stickam's place, whether it's this Instameet or something like that. But... uh so yeah, Stickam. It's hard to believe that Stickam is shutting down with how I've seen. But then again, should I really be surprised? I mean, I I've, I had a Multimedia J account on Stickam, which is what I signed in with for Zer and Isaac's Friday night chats and whatnot. But uh, and Venetian Princess too, back in the day. But um, the uh, I never used it for anything. Never hosted any live chats of my own. Had some plans for some live tech talks with uh, some of the other tech vloggers on here, but those never materialized, so I have nothing to download. I never did anything there. All I did was just log in other people's shows and chit-chat. So, hmm. Oh, well. Quick rest. Well, rest in peace, Stickham. Uh, it's pretty sad to see an uh, internet icon from the heydays of the mid-2000s before the economy crashed and all that other stuff. The days when I was first getting curious about YouTube and stuff like that, messing with video blogs, making some really awful instructional tech videos back then that were just like cheesy corporate trading videos. Ah, uh, the memories. But to everything under this earth, under heaven, blah, 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 there is a season. Turn, turn, turn. Whether you know the passage from the Bible or you know the song from the birds, everything has its season, and eventually the seasons change. And Stickham has had its day, and I'm sure there'll be something else that'll eventually pick up where it left off. And until that goes uh, and stuff like until that goes under and stuff like that. But such is the nature of internet businesses like this. So, as far as Stickam goes, 
Well, it's sad to see it go, but can't really say I didn't see it coming. Thanks for listening, folks. This is Multimedia J Radio Style. This is Multimedia J signing off. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs>